evening everyone, it's The Wanderer still here then in Hokkaido. If you saw the last vlog where we flew into Hokkaido and I tackled the biggest fish that I've ever seen in my life. Spoiler, it was pretty good. Uh, we stood outside the Century Royal Hotel, so this is the last hotel for me and Toshiko. We're here for a couple of nights. Really good in here actually and we're quite fortunate because they've put us in the 16th of the 23rd floor. The view, we'll have to show you the view on the next vlog because we're having breakfast here tomorrow, so you will see all you need to see. Anyway guys, tonight, I mentioned it in the last vlog, we are on our way to the Sapporo Beer Garden. Uh, we've got a seat reserved for seven, so we're gonna hop in a taxi and make our way there. Not very long, uh, not very far away by taxi. We should get there pretty quickly. Although in terms of what we're having, I'm actually not sure yet, we'll, dis we'll decide when we get there, but I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed the Japan series so far, don't forget to leave a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new as well, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and here we go to the Sapporo Beer Garden. Let's make a move. Before anyone says it, this is not special effects, this is not CGI. That is some of the most beautiful snow that I've seen. Oh, it's wonderful. <sighs> So one thing I've just learned about this place, guys, it's not just one building, it's actually several. Uh, there's a huge restaurant here behind Toshiko. We're gonna have a look at that. Uh, but we went in and we stated our reservation and the gentleman gave us this ticket uh, to direct us to the popular pavilion. So if you pan over there, it's the building with the little red star on it. So that is the popular pavilion. Just one very quick thing before we go though, guys. Hokkaido, I wanna live here, honestly, because I love the cold, right? People think I'm mad, I love the cold. Toshiko was telling me that in the summer, summers here are mild, like pretty mild um, for me, bearable. And in the winter, oh, you get an absolute winter wonderland. So I'm making plans. But anyway, let's go to the popular pavilion. everyone so we've been seated the member of staff who dealt with us really really friendly guy uh, he did ask his manager if we were okay to film here and he was like yeah that's cool so yeah we're doing that it's all you can eat guys 5,000 yen all you can eat doing it all yourself cooking it yourself and the beer is all you can drink too now we're in the beer garden today so I think I'm fancying maybe a cup of tea 
uh, with two sugars and uh, you know I'm lying. You know I'm lying. Let's grab a beer. Okay, we've returned, we've got our drinks. Uh, when I went to there and I said Sapporo Classic and I went two, um, I was actually thinking it was gonna be one for me and one for Toshiko, uh, but she's got her own drink here. Uh, so in the end, it's actually two for me, so that's, I can live with it. I'm surprised no one's mentioned this in the comments yet either, guys, because uh, this is a Japanese a beer, obviously, uh, but look how much head you get. Apparently in Japan, they love the bubbles, they love the foam. So when I came the first time and I had a beer and there was about that much foam, I was going to go there and say, no, 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 this is how you do it. Apparently that would have been rude, <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, no, apparently they love the foam. For me, I love the golden stuff, so. And that is good. That is nice. All right, let's fry. I'll try and be brief with everything because we do have a little bit of everything. We're starting off with lamb and before we go into it I think we got more to come. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Oh nice. Nice. Ah there he goes. There he goes. Bye bye. Right let's try that again. Lamb. Here we go. Oh man. We're off to a flying start. That is really good. It cooks unbelievably quick as well. It goes from red to brown. Wow, like that. Really cool. Okay guys, Toshko's told me I have to try this. Uh, so we got some potato, but it's not just any potato. It's Hokkaido potato. Apparently different to the average, but I'll be the judge. Quite nice actually. Really soft, slight sweet taste. I like it, it's good. Our next delicacy. Chicken. Now you can't go wrong with a bit of chicken. You really can't go wrong with that chicken. That's also pretty sweet, juicy. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that's really good. Put a bit of the sauce in it this time, a bit of sauce. I had a bit of the lamb without the sauce and it was all right, uh, chewy, but the sauce makes it. See what it does for the chicken. More, please. <laughs> Alright then everyone, next up we got some pork, we got some pumpkin, we got some sausage as well. So, let's go in quickly. We'll go with the pumpkin, why not? Mmm. Mmm. I mean, bit too, it wasn't what I was expecting, a bit too hard that one, but flavour, flavour's alright, but yeah, there it goes. Okay then guys, do you remember the sausage from the Watt Hotel? I'm getting the same vibe, but here we go. And again, it is nice, but you bite into it, and again, it's literally a movie theater hot dog sausage. Although this one's been cooked very nicely, so it's got that, that extra crunch. It's okay, but main event time. Been looking forward to this. Pork, here we go. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, give me more, give me more. Try a bit without the sauce. Really soft, oh, it's delicious. So far, my favorite thing. Wonderful, wonderful. This 
it's all been amazing so far. This is heaven for me. So 5,000 yen, I think we established, was about 30 pounds. Now, is that good or bad? I think it depends on how much you can absolutely rinse them on the all you can eat and all you can drink from. So far, I think we're doing a good job in making, uh, making it worth our while. We've still got some classic lamb to come yet. I have a feeling this could be the star of the show. Okay, so the official names for these, according to the tablet, uh, so the one that we've already had uh, goes under as Lamb Genghis Khan. Uh, this one was really good. Uh, over here, we've got the Frozen Lamb Genghis Khan, uh, but Toshiko described it as classic lamb, classic lamb. And this one is the Beef Ribs. Now, these two we haven't had yet, and I think these are the last two before we try to rinse them out of 5,000 yen. <laughs> This one, oh, beef ribs, gotta be done. Okay guys, you're gonna see this for the first time. This is a world first. I'm gonna show you a legitimate magic trick. Ready, watch this. Wow, amazing. I also made the food appear too. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Ho -ho. All right, everyone. So now it's time for the classic lamb. So we're gonna go one dry and then one sauce. Dry first, here we go. Oh, have a close look at that, guys. Classic lamb, here we go. The most I can say about that, chewy, it's, it's good, nice meat, not much in the way of flavor, hence why we have the sauce. Let's bathe it in there a second. This sauce just makes everything better. <laughs> I've got to get me some of this sauce. That is amazing. That, mm, yeah. Got some onion too. I know we don't really come here to review onion, but I mean, I mean, if you look at all this here, oh, I mean, you do love a fried onion. Here we go. Just like, just like a perfect burger van. That's really nice. Oh, I love that. Toshko said, put your onion in the sauce. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I love this place. I love this place. It's making onions feel like five-star gourmet food. More lamb, please. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay then everyone, this is the final piece. This is the beef ribs. There's a before, here's an after. Right, here we go. Just like the classic lamb, we're gonna go in dry first. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And that's really nice, that's like, um, that's pretty much like the steak in the Victoria Cross that I love. You know, I have the steak after work every Sunday. Before peppercorn sauce. Oh, I wish I had peppercorn sauce. But I have this. This might be better. Uh, Genghis Khan sauce. So everything here is Genghis Khan, apparently. Victoria Cross. Get this, please. Here we go. I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling. This is up, this is a paradise. I think I think we've saved the best for last, and I didn't even mean to. Oh, give me, give me more. Give me more. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna finish this. We got like another hour in here, so we're gonna rinse them. We're gonna rinse them, and we'll uh, 
We'll see you guys outside. Okay everyone, so I just gave you another once over of the menu. So once again, this is per person. Obviously me and Toshko, adults, 5,000 yen each, all you can eat, all you can drink. Uh, the other two prices, uh, so the lowest one is for your elementary school kids and so on, 2,300 yen. Uh, that's a pretty good deal, has to be said. And the three and a half thousand is middle school student. Oh, here comes my friend. I love this guy. I love this guy. Oh, is this us? Yeah, this I order. We got more, we got more! Well, Toshko went and grabbed herself her second drink. She's gone for the Fraginable and she said uh, for me to give it a try. So here we go. Iced up as well, nice. Oh my god, that's like orange juice. That is like pure orange juice. Imagine orange juice with alcohol. That is, you have it. That is deadly. That is dangerous. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. Uh, well, I think we're done in terms of food. I've still got like a beer to finish, but um, we can stay in here until uh, last orders is nine o'clock. So maybe there's another one in it for me. As I said earlier, 5,000 yen, 30 pounds. I definitely think I definitely think we've hit the 30 pound. If if this was in Britain, I think we would have done, we, we would have probably gone for about 80 pound worth of meat today. Just meat, like not even the drinks. Value, value here has been absolutely stunning. Sapporo beer is pretty good as well. You can find it in Morrison's, although I will say in Morrison's, uh, it's pretty overpriced. It comes in the uh, silver can that is shaped like a pint glass and it's like £2.30 or something a can. So I like it, but I try to avoid it because it's just so so costly. It is a nice drink, but obviously in here, uh, to steal a line from that, um, what's his name? David Dickinson, that's the one, David Dickinson. Cheap as chips, that's the one. And just as we were talking about last orders, it wasn't nine o'clock, it was 8.40. The lady came up and said 8.40, so, one more. And to finish off guys, why not? We're in Hokkaido, where it has been as low as minus 11 today. We've got to have some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> There's something about being in a cold climate and having something cold. It just feels right, you know? It's like having it's like having tea in summer, ice cream in winter. It just works. I love it. Okay everyone, I've got a little bit of wrong information. Um, so yes, the last order time was 8.40, the closing time is actually nine. They're playing the go home music right now, which is usually the music that is played uh, on New Year, you know. Do, 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 do. Anyway, <laughs> good luck. This has been though, for real, honestly, an amazing experience. Hokkaido for me has just been like heaven with all the snow. I don't really feel the cold that much. We were walking around and all that, and um, sometimes I felt warm. I don't know what it is, maybe I'm, maybe I'm too ginger, I don't know. <laughs> but places like this, um, I could see from the tables all around us, fun family get-togethers, good price as well. If you come here like on a really empty stomach, 
oh, it's worth it, 100%, 100%. I, I would definitely recommend not coming here after having like a breakfast or a lunch. Try and sort of come here if you haven't had anything to eat all day. 30 pounds, 5,000 yen, 30 pounds. Make it worth your while. I've been a bit naughty on this vlog. This is the last of beer number five. Think of, think of how much five beers in England will cost you. Like five beers alone you're looking at in a cheap place, maybe like a Spoons, you're looking at about 18, 19 pound. And then you've got all that meat on top as well. Wow, I mean, value for money. I'll give you the full, I'll give you the full beans outside. We'll see you then. Well then guys, that was our time in the Sapporo Beer Garden. Now, I have to say, I, I mean, I, honestly, I think I said most of what I wanted to say in there. The experience was absolutely fantastic. It looked really, really steamy in there because everyone was using those cookers and everything. So, no, it was really, really good. 10,000 yen for both me and Toshiko. Um, honestly, it was really, really good. I would say, I mean, some people will look at the price, some people will say, oh, fantastic value. Some people might say, too expensive. At the end of the day, it's really, how much do you have? We had a lot. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff off camera uh, that, we, that we had. Absolutely worth the money, 100%. We, I mean, I've said it a few times, we absolutely rinsed them. So yeah, uh, we had a lot of the meat, a lot of the veg, all of it was good. Um, that sauce, oh, that sauce was amazing. All the meat, I think the, the best thing I had there, it was all so good. It was all really good. Everything I had was amazing. And it just got better and better and better as it went along. I think the beef ribs was, was peak. Oh my God, that was really, really good. Vegetables were good. I have to say, I wasn't too keen on the pumpkin. I mean, that's my, it, my, oh, my only critique. It's not the kind of thing that I go out to eat anyway. So yeah, the pumpkin, mm, I mean, okay, it was okay because of how it was fried. Nice and crunchy, it was okay. Anyway guys, Sapporo Beer Garden, if you're ever in this area, if you like a little bit of snow, or come here in the summer if you don't, I highly recommend giving this place a visit. So we're gonna make our way back to our hotel now and we're gonna get ready to film the hotel That's breakfast. Good. So if you do like this vlog, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click that bell, click the bell down there to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer and until next time, bye for now. <laughs> Magic trick. Ready? Watch this. I'm gonna get two more. <laughs>